Hey what's up, it's Chris from Rooker Films and in today's video I'm going to talk about ugly handheld shaky footage and how to turn that into buttery smooth cinematic footage. So let's get into it. Shaky handheld footage can look great in a fight sequence or an action scene, but if you're trying to create beautiful looking cinematic tracking shots, then you're going to have to try and eliminate as much handheld shake as is physically possible. Avoiding a problem is always much better than trying to fix a problem, so eliminating handheld shake whilst you're filming on set is always the recommended option. To do this, try and avoid filming handheld. Instead, mount your camera to a glide cam, a 3-axis gimbal like a Ronin or a Movi, or use a track and dolly or tripod. But what if you've already filmed your footage and it just doesn't look as smooth and as cinematic as you were hoping for it to be? Well, fortunately, there is a fix for that. To do this, we're just going to load up Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so once we've loaded up Adobe Premiere Pro, we just want to create a new sequence. So we're just going to go over to the settings tab here. And we're just going to set the time base to 23.976 frames per second. We're going to set the frame size to 1920 by 1080. Make sure this is selected to square pixels. Make sure this is progressive scan. And then we're just going to quickly come down to here and rename the sequence. And we're going to press OK. So the next step is to import our footage. So we're just going to go down to this window over here. And we're going to double click and press import. Now we just need to navigate to our footage and then that's just going to import and we're just going to drag that onto our sequence. Okay, so now that we've got our footage loaded up inside of the timeline, we need to add the warp stabilizer effect. So we're going to search for our effects tab and we're just going to search for warp stabilizer. That's this one here. And then we're just going to drag that on top of our footage and the computer will work out the rest. Perfect, so the computer has now finished analyzing the shot and has applied the warp stabilizer effect. So we're just gonna watch that back quickly. Now already that is so much better. However, I don't know if you'll spot it, but there's a quick distortion just here. As you can see, something weird happens over here. So we just need to adjust the settings ever so slightly to correct that. So we're just gonna go back over to the warp stabilizer VFX and we're gonna adjust the smoothness down to 30%. And we're just going to watch that back again. Ah, that's much better. And that is literally it. Warp Stabilizer is such an easy and effective way to smooth out your handheld footage. And that's it. Your bumpy, shaky handheld footage now looks smooth and cinematic. Now you should always remember that this should never be your go-to technique. This is simply just a last resort. If you can shoot smooth looking cinematic footage on set, then you will save yourself an absolute load of time in the edit and save yourself a massive headache. So try and always capture the best footage you can. If you enjoyed this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this one in the future. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do truly appreciate it. I hope you have the most amazing day today. I will see you soon.